Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our quick Bitcoin morning update. Um, so we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin charts on the four hour. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour, you can see we are still hovering a hovering around our basically our resistance zone. Actually just below it, we have got candle closes below. Um, so cat well, our candle closed below um, 35,000. Currently it is trying to rally back up. Um, but yeah, obviously, obviously this is not this is not looking great. We needed to realistically hold thirty six thousand. Um, obviously, these um, these um, these numbers are there or thereabouts. Um, we are only like one one k either side. Um, but yeah, at some point, if we do if we do um, continually close um, prices under thirty five thousand, um, it would be highly likely we're going to come come down another two thousand dollars and test thirty three. Um, but remember, this is this is the weekend um, where price set action is not potentially not as efficacious so uh, maybe we do just hover around this level and uh, maybe move back over 36 uh, basically to around round about where we uh, the CMEs were when they closed on Friday um, and then and then yeah and when they open maybe we've got a chance of breaking this downward sloping trend line which should give us a we should that should at least trigger a move up towards the 40,000s where I would expect we would get rejected and um, potentially head back down to either this uh, 35 36 35,000 level or, or or just go for the whole the whole the whole retest of the of around the 30k lows in just a in just a sideways a sideways um, range in the medium term um, obviously between 30k and 42k um, the real action the real action will occur once we break and hold above 42,000 or or we break below and hold below 30,000 um, but anything for the time being realistically just playing um, playing short-term um, levels levels to levels um, but obviously this downward sloping trend line will, will be of importance and I think the importance that it will be of is that it will um, it will um, help us basically get towards the top of the range um, not ne not necessarily break through it at all but um, but just help us get there um, and then obviously the market has to decide what it wants to do at that point um, so yeah Bitcoin um, yeah hold it holding holding by by the skin of its teeth um, pretty much the top side of the range and then when I say that I mean just the fact we haven't accelerated down to the 33 k's yet um, but that is is that is certainly on the cards um, if this was um, not weekend price action and we were here I certainly expect we would have we would have come lower um, but yeah just um, just weekend price action doing its thing ethereum Bitcoin um, did also ethereum Satoshi pairing also did come below um, this horizontal um, got bought back up bought back above the trend line also so, um, and now looking to potentially come back um, and then attempt attempt to put in a higher low relative to this low but this is all short-term stuff and um, but then if you do want to look at medium term medium term doesn't look so bad because um, we've obviously got a low and a higher low um, and then we have got um, some higher highs here but obviously we have to be aware of this high here so this would ultimately be where we'd want to take out um, and then if we do look at long term also long term is looking good so um, this is not looking so bad providing we with providing this is the low and we do continue on upwards um, we can potentially be um, forming a pennant here um, which I won't draw in for the sake of um, basically um, convoluting the chart. Um, if we do trade higher from here, and we and this does look like it is definitely a confirmed higher low relative to here, then I will probably draw the pennant in at that point. Um, and at which point it will it will obviously be a bull flag. That is not to say it breaks to the upside and has then has then targets of um, hey let's let's draw let's just let's just we'll just draw them in. Uh, we'll just draw them in because it's because it's fun to do isn't it maybe a bit lower than that because obviously if we break out it would potentially be from a level around here um but yeah let's um let's have a look where this where this could get us um well there you go um basically around our target so um i'll just straighten this up a bit um shift should do it shouldn't it wait because i'm not on it at the moment so let me grab grab grabbed it i'm moving it shift is that straight it looks straight why does it not look straight Maybe I've got other lines that aren't straight. Wait, if we go, <laughs> here we go. If we check it, yeah, that's straight. Um, yeah, so yeah, potential target of basically um, our the target that I'm I'm pretty much aiming for. Like I said, this was my initial target. Didn't quite make it. We got close. Um, so now if we do have another leg up, 
this isn't the target now. This is pretty much the target for me. So, so the Goldil <laughs> the Goldilocks scenario, the bullish scenario for Ethereum Satoshi pairing. Um, so this is just versus Bitcoin, obviously, um, not USD. Is that yeah? This bull flag, this pennant um, plays out. We break up and then we hit the base of the next level. So there we go. Some Ethereum hopium um, for us all. We do know we have got fundamental things coming out for Ethereum, but then we also know there's an old ad adage by the rumor sell the facts. So, but um, clearly if those fundamental things are bullish for Ethereum, um, the fundamentals will ultimately pull through. Uh, remember, markets uh, are in the short term a voting mechanism, but in the longer term a weighing mechanism, i.e. The, 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 the actions of traders in the short term will determine where it goes, but the action of the well, the actions of the fundamentals will be the way mechanism, which ultimately de de decides where it goes. Um, but yeah, the dollar pairing, the dollar pairing, you can see. Um, yeah, look at not looking, not looking great. Um, but realistically, as as long as we hold, as long as we, well, we can call it 20k, 20k. We can't call it 20k, 2k. As long as we hold 2k, we will be looking okay. And then if we break above 3k, we'll be looking, um, we'll be. Looking looking good so actually we'll extend this along so um yeah maybe this is our equivalent range it's nice e very nice easy round numbers also uh, above 3k onwards and upwards below 2k down downwards and <laughs> downwards and downwards um so yeah that's what realistically we are looking at for ethereum um is look is looking like it it kind of it kind of can uh, if, if i had to pick a direction it would be up i am biased so maybe Maybe that is uh, interfering with my judgment. But, I mean, you can see this longer-term trend is up in much much the same as it is for crypto. And we do, just in general, and we do have, um, obviously, fundamental fundamental um, things coming in for Ethereum. Um, so, yeah, finally, over to Bitcoin. I mean, is we'll look at the stochastics, but, again, it's weekend range, range in price action. Um, but, yeah, for our has um, has actually this this is good this is good to see for our was a drag on the um, short term price action yesterday but it has now come all the way down and we are still just just by the skin of our teeth holding the 35 to 30 what well, the lower 35,000 level so if this does um, start to come back up it could certainly at the very least hold us above um, basically stop us coming down to 33k um, which would be which would be nice <laughs> 10 hour I'm sure is coming down now as well when it lows yeah 10 hours coming down so this will obviously be weighing in on price action 12 hour will, or 12 hour will also be waning and 12 hours quite an important one um so yeah 12 hour is going to be um going to be pulling price action down but daily is looking good still two day has turned up three day is uh well still low five day has just about turned up weekly diving but getting pretty low so realistically we have got Four hour maybe holders above um, ten hour and daily, and uh, sorry ten hour and twelve hour looking like they could offer um, offer basically um, downward price action, but then daily and two day not looking look not looking so bad for holding us up. So um, realistically, they that is just telling me we are going to basically trade pretty much sideways. Make, to be honest, maybe it gets us down to thirty three k, maybe it gets us up to thirty eight k. We are literally only talking like two three thousand dollar moves. Um, in the wider context of of a highly volatile asset, um, so um, and if you do just generally look at the trend of this price action, um, even 33k and and pretty much 38k, whilst it breaks this this trend line, it still is just a tightening formation. Um, so it is still price action within a tightening range. So it, it it would be nothing to write home about either coming down to 33 or going up to 38. Um, we we just realistically want to see moves to the higher. I mean that is where your um your high 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 probability trades are when you get to the the extremes of the range. So obviously the lows or the highs, and then obviously you short with the stop above, or and then obviously you buy. Um, if you break above and then you um, buy with a stop below and sell if we break below, they are the high probability trades. Um, these levels of tightening ranges are just, um, yeah, you're just, um, just, we're just trying to scrape the barrel here for moves. Um, so um, yeah, we, we are we are waiting, waiting basically for Monday. Um, I would say that um, general markets are not looking too bad. I mean, this is clearly looking, clearly looking fantastic. Um, but um, obviously a bit of a, a a bit of a potential wedge forming. Um, so uh, well, <laughs> when we put it that way, and when we put it this way, 
Um, you kind of think, is this going to drop out? Obviously, wedges can clearly break to the upside as well. They're just statistically more likely to break to the downside. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on this. But like I said, we have had, obviously, big pullbacks. So maybe, and we are finding ourselves really, relatively the same levels we were here. So maybe this is due a leg up. Um, but clearly, um, rising wedges are bearish formations. So if this does come down, then we are certainly, if this if this breaks down and comes down to its target, or basically this line here, um, then we are going to um, we are going to see sub 30k BTC almost certainly in in my mind. Um, Nasdaq also obviously looking good um, in a potential larger rising wedge, but that has got room to run, and it has also got room to run within the formation. Um, so so yes, uh, the 10 year also just holding holding basically um, holding below that horizontal that we've got drawn. Um, maybe this is just going to find its way back into this and into this wider range. Um, gold just hanging around, hanging around there or thereabouts. This is looking like a potential bull flag um, for a move continuing. I mean, the trend is your friend. This was the trend here. But obviously, we've got this trend down, but we have then got the large trend up. Um, so you'd have to give a bias to the upside. But clearly, clearly, um, this will accelerate above um, basically this um, 19, 1964 level. Um, this will accelerate to the upside, and then we will uh, very likely see a new all-time, all, well, all yeah, all-time highs for gold, um, silver, um, silver sort of um, consolidating below levels. Also, um, deciding it has obviously broken this potential pennant we've drawn in, um, but yeah, I mean realistically above this uh, twenty, well, basically call it twenty nines and then thirties. Um, silver is gonna go. Silver is gonna go on a mad one. Um, so yeah, keep an keep an eye out for that. Uh, Bitcoin dominance. Um, let's just extend this out a little bit. Bitcoin dominance. Um, basically, um, took out that. Um, took out this horizontal potential swing failure above. Um, back below now. If we get rejected here and start to come down, um, I would realistically expect Bitcoin to be um basically holding this um 35 to 39 thousand dollar range and then altcoins start to get a bit of um, a bit of joy again um but yeah got to keep an eye on this because this is clearly um we'll just extend this along as well this is um this is clearly going to be important for a lot of our trades a lot of our altcoin trades um and then just one last look at the dxy dxy had a little pump up back up to this horizontal so are we going to get rejected a second time um we shall see but um yeah interesting interesting week week ahead um yeah interesting week ahead stock market is looking good but um maybe they maybe maybe they could be due a pullback um dollar index um just basically awaiting a move um and yeah bitcoin bitcoin a wait awaiting a a directional move as well but we may be we may be waiting for that one so we may be waiting a few weeks for any any real direction here um but yeah that is it guys um hope you guys are having a great weekend and enjoying the well the sunshine we've got here don't know about where you guys are but yeah the weather's good here uh, but yeah thanks for listening and i shall speak to you guys soon